In this lecture, we will learn about hiding base class functions. Okay, so this is kind of a byproduct or result of function overriding. Okay, so you have a feature, very good feature, function overriding. Okay, so in this, what happens is you want that okay you write some function override some function in your derived class and that overrides your base class function okay so like in last example we saw dog class derived from animal class it says that okay it overrides the speak function and says dog barks whereas animal speak okay so that's good but let's see what can be the problem with this this will also result in hiding base class functions okay and what are the functions that might get hidden so we will see that example with help of a code again we have a animal class which has two attributes weight and age okay and we have the constructor and destructor the set and get methods for age and weight now we have two base class functions speak where it just prints out that animal speaks don't you know and move animals move but what happens we try to use other features of c plus plus and say that okay move and we have overlaid loaded move and now it becomes move number of steps how many steps you move and animal moves n steps okay so this is printed we have also got one more move that it moves n steps and in what way it moves slowly fast or how it moves so this is also there so move is an overloaded function with no argument, one argument and two arguments. So this is fine. But now what happens is that we use more C++ features. We derive a dog class from animal class. Now we have the speak function. We override it. And now we say that, okay, the implementation is that dog barks loudly. Okay. This works fine, well and good. But what happens to move? Now we are smart enough and we override the base class move so now what happens is dog moves very fast okay then this works fine and now let's try to test this code bit so we have made two animal one animal object a and one dog object t now if you do dog a dot move so it will print animal moves a dot move five so one argument animal moves five steps a dot move seven comma fast it means animal moves seven steps fast a dot speak will work fine now what happens is that d dot move if you do so it will print okay the so dog moves dog moves okay but d dot speak the dog barks till here it will work fine and that's let's try to build it now you see everything is working fine animal moves okay so we should bring it here animal moves animal moves five steps with this one animal moves seven steps fast okay because we have given this argument and animal speaks don't you know this is fine now dog barks loudly okay so this dog moves very fast with the dog move and dog bark, barks loudly so everything till here is working very fine but let's see if we add one more line d dot move three so now what will happen let's try to think first some uh, we might think that okay because move with one argument so this is an overloaded function move so when you override okay so you will think now that okay when i override so basically it will only override the d dot speak d dot move okay with no argument and d dot move three will in turn call the move method with one argument for the animal class but c plus plus does not allow this this okay so it will hide all the functions hide all overloaded functions so why because even if you have three overloaded functions with the same name and in the derived class if you just override one of them all the others will also be hidden so let's try to see that out okay so we have d dot move with three 
you might hope that okay this will call the base class animal class move with one argument but if you try to build so you are seeing that here error no matching function for call dog move int because what is happening happening is that this function is not there in dog class now because this because we have d dot move a move function was overriding the base class so now you are not provided with the other two overloaded functions similarly even if i do this and i have d dot move with two arguments this will also give me a build error d dot move so error so no matching function for call d dot move int const care because the candidate is just dog move okay so this tells that okay if you override then your base class becomes angry and it hides all other methods also so what can you do so the thing that you can do is to have all the other objects here all the other functions you need to override all the overloaded ones also okay so here is override we need to override the other two methods also okay so instead of animal now dog moves n steps and here also so now it will work fine for you i have now overrided all the three functions which were all the three different overloaded functions so now if you see that if i have these so it becomes fine it is now compiling and if you run this so you will see now dog moves very fast dog barks loudly dog moves three steps because this is what is overridden in your derived class and dog moves three steps slowly so this makes your overriding of methods okay so if you have overloaded functions write over overriding functions for all of them then only it will work or if you just write one overriding function all others from the base class will be hidden so i hope you understand thanks a lot